Hello, welcome back. Uh, sorry about that, we had some technical issues, and we're now in the Counter-Strike Source phase of the CUDGS vs. AUS Esports Varsity of 2017. At the moment, they're in they're banning maps, so... Oh, hi. So Oxford have banned Mirage, and Cambridge have just banned Nuke. Righto. Okay, so is okay, sound and video should be working now. Sorry, sorry about that. Okay, so overpass, train, and inferno. Other maps. Um. Right, sorry, um, right, so first map is overpass, we have on the Oxford side, we have Restalion, also Aaron, from St. Hughes, and he's a fourth year uh, physics student, uh, Tudor, or glasses, which... So at the moment, um, right. to be some confusion about a knife round or not. So we're just doing the walk. So we're just doing the warm-up at the moment, and we're just trying to decide if we're going to have a knife round or not to determine which team is going to be CT and which is going to be T. So your captains today are Jake and James, and uh, unfortunately we're both Cambridge students, so go on, GDBO. Well... So, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm WX, um, and this is... And I'm Laz. And we will be your casters today. Uh, we've not done this before, but hopefully some tips from Anders will help and make, make sure that we don't make too much of a fool of ourselves. But we're not going to promise anything. It should be good fun for everyone, especially you guys. Right. Just waiting for the players to get ready now.
So it appears that um, there will. Right, so we have Cambridge appear starting on CT. Oxford rushing up uh, Fountain towards towards t toilets. It's looking like a fast A take onto A. Uh, they've pushed into bathrooms quite effectively and they've moved one player off the B site now. So uh, we've got the other players at B site from Cambridge quick trying to rotate. We've got some very good headshots from Cambridge. Um, rapidly decimating the Oxford. Excellent round by Cambridge there, no deaths. Two uh, kills for James and Jerry there, fantastic work. Cambridge did a fantastic job rotating players there onto A, but didn't overextend and were careful just for any of the rotates there, which is quite good. It's quite unfortunate for Oxford though, they managed to get the players into the site quite quickly. Unfortunately, they just seemed to stall when they got to the edges along there, James. Yeah, they did. They uh, seemed to not go in all at the same time. Um, Slight miscoordination, maybe from the split push. But one of the things people might not know is USPs are long range weapons, so you've got to be quite careful to take sort of close range engagements as the terrorist team. And Cambridge did very well to slow them down there, which was well in their favour. But now moving on to the next range uh, round, it's uh, actually quite a limited buy coming from the Oxford team, just P250s, two of their players. Uh, but Cambridge, Cambridge well, seem to have closed that down quite well. Is there Rico and uh, it's the anti eco on the Cambridge side? It's so, uh, James with uh, M4A1S, so. No head armor on the, him though, which is uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's strange. Normally you see people buying head armor, particularly if you're going to go on one of these uh, anti eco rounds. You want to farm up those points, not risk giving away an M4 so early in a round. But it seems to have worked out quite well for them. So we have Photon, the last guy. Uh, Photon is uh, Plamen from St. John. Oh, he got a very nice headshot on Ven on the Cambridge side. He's found at a UMP. Whether he's going to save, it's unsure. He might go for more kills, um, given that the kill rewards for the UMP are doubled. Yeah, it was a slight miscalculation for Ven though when he went to bathrooms. He didn't seem to sort of think that there might be a player on the left, but fortunately they managed to pull Float on into the A site and take him, which is quite good. A nice, straightforward, easy round for Cambridge there. Yeah, very standard anti go. Did we see a, a team kill come out there from Glasses then on the Oxford team? I think we did actually. I didn't catch it, but uh... Maybe early nerves, just the first three rounds. <laughs> and there goes your casters. Well, the casters are just being kicked due to inactivity. Uh, GG. So uh, we can't apologize enough for this, guys. We'll be yeah, straight very back sorry about that. that. The game is still ongoing, and we'll get you a quick update as soon as possible. So interestingly, Photon's managed to pick up a double kill and has picked up the M4. Unfortunately, still no armor on him. Oh, he's dropped into two to be two. Three kills now for Photon. Fantastic work from him. Brilliant job so far. And it looks like Cambridge has stalled on the A site and they're questioning whether or not B. A photon's now going over there, so the call will be coming through soon. But fortunately for Cambridge, they do have the bomb dropped in bathrooms in sight. So let's see what happens here then. Yeah, this is quite sloppy work on the Cambridge side so far. Um, losing three guys to one, some one person, I don't know, eco. Uh, just to be a bit more careful. That, that's to be expected early on in a game. You know, nerves are coming in. It's the first three rounds of the game. I'm sure we'll get a strong performance. Oh, fantastic from this there. Down to a 1v1. Now, Restalon is actually going to get the bomb plant on A. He's on 23 HP though and no armor, so he's pretty much dead in one. A little tag there onto him. And he's coming round. This is going to get it. Is he going to get it? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, work. Yes. And that's 3 0 for Cambridge. 
but it is almost a round lost losing four players yeah. against an anti eco team just shouldn't be happening this early on. Well, most of them didn't have guns, so it wasn't too bad on them. They, they still still fall by. Well, except for Ven, who's uh, going to need a drop from probably Nis, I suppose. Well, Ven is the designated AWPer of the team, so we should see. Yes, there we go. We've seen an AWP be dropped to him now, so that's a fantastic buy coming out from Cambridge. It, it seems uh, like there are... It's also the first buy round coming out from Terrors here, so we'll see how they get on now. Yeah, it seems that there are, have been two team kills on the Oxford side, which uh, I'm not sure what's happened there, but that's, that tends uh, to kill economy. So we've seen the Oxford team now, they're playing from playgrounds and heading towards long. So we'll see Ven take first contact and a great shot from him. He's backing off now and he's made the call through to the team in Cambridge. They're backing off from backrooms. So they're now going to move back and play contact and see what happens here. Giving up a lot of uh, control on backrooms and mid in general and connector, which is quite surprising as well. Yeah, it looks like the slow plays coming out from Oxford at this moment. They're just waiting out. They've got grenades, and I think they're trying to bait out grenades use from the Cambridge side. And uh, I don't think Cambridge are having any any of it. They're just st sticking to the sights and uh, playing the angles. They're playing very intelligently here. A lot of teams, when they get a kill like that, would think, "Okay, let's push in and let's try and crush them." They've backed off, and here we go. We see Ven again, waiting for the Oxford team to push into one of his angles. He's taken them, and now he's dropped it down to a three v five. But here we've got Resto Line coming up on it. Oh, and fantastic trade back there. And the orb from Ven is now gone. Even though it's a 4v3, the Oxford team managed to push up quite close. And there we go. We see James getting another one. 4v2. Let's see how they can do here now, then. That's very strong on the Great job. And if they can get the orb, very good. There we go. Very clinical from the Cambridge team there. And a very good round coming out from Ven there. Absolutely shutting down Oxford as they go down to long. And then shutting them down again as they push up long towards A side. Good to see this coming. It looks like it's going to be a full buy from the Oxford side. Um, not too many grenades and uh, glasses seems to be uh, left in the uh, left out there, which is uh, Tech 9 and armor. Although what you would normally see on a round like this, you would expect an eco having lost a full buy round like the previous one. So seeing uh, Oxford buying into this might catch Cambridge out. Yeah, that's definitely the case. Interesting from James, preferring to use the UMP, so that it suggests that he expected a eco, but he might be surprised here when it turns out they have AK. Well, they've got the information, they have do have guns, so looks like they're going to play a bit more defensively. Once again, the Cambridge team backing off bathrooms and long, giving Oxford a lot of control of the map, letting drawing them in and seeing what happens when they take these contact plays. So we'll see how that plays out in this round, and whether or not that's actually going to work out for the game. Well, it appears that we uh, accidentally gave out the the server IP when we got kicked for inactivity, which will probably happen again. But uh, hopefully this amateur hour won't yeah. affect your enjoyment too much. So, so we've got Oxford trying to make a play into into sewers. Oh, brilliant! Flash the rope tapes are already coming along. James is there for UV spray down. Getting one and a bird. The Molotov on. Well, incendiary on. So currently 5 0, going for a fast push, a fast eco push onto east side. The rotate's coming in from Cambridge though. But can they get the one block? It seems they do, so they'll. Here's the halvet money next round, but. Uh...
So full point coming from Oxide. A little bit of team killing going on from uh, on Cambridge. I think that was an accident. But I think uh, they. Think well, these things happen, especially in high stress situations. You're going for a site retake. Oh. You've got five people all in close spaces. These things can happen. Hello, lads. Uh, today we've got the uh, Oxford to Cambridge. Uh, out tag team, sorry. Oh, and, and today, today we have a... Looks like the full buys from Oxford has paid off here. Um, they got the bomb and on a site, and there's just with two left. Sorry about this, we're having some technical issues. Obviously, um, those watching can appear to join the server. And uh, it seems that Oxford have got their first round in. Um, Cambridge, obviously, with the full buy coming in and to try and reset their economy. So if, if they win this round, they will reset the money gained and hopefully bring back Oxford to an eco position. So as you guys can tell, we are trying to disable the chat at the moment for everyone. Uh, unfortunately, it's not quite going to plan. We should hopefully have that sorted in a moment. So it turns out it's going to be a slow push on B. A slow rotation from Cambridge, and they're trying to go for a retake. Five, three v five now. And that will be the retake from Cambridge. So, so Oxford still will be able to fall by this round, having saved up from the previous one, but.
So here we have the Oxford players are going up long. Bathrooms are oh, they've taken out Ben. 4v3 here, but Cambridge are now rotating onto the A site. 4v2 here at the moment. Oh, unfortunately James has taken out as well. 4v1, which is the round pretty much over at this point, unless Nis can pull something really out of the back here. And they managed to take him down a 2v1 there, which is fantastic work from the Oxford team, having lost the previous round and being down 7-2. They've really shown some determination to come back here. So we'll see if they can sort of capitalize on that now and keep pushing forwards. So we see here Oxford managed to get a pick and put Harry down very low and they put a lot of pressure on the B site. But they're now doing a fantastic job here, rotating through connector and they're going to go to the A site. But we've got one player in bathrooms who'll be calling that out. Uh, we'll have one person coming up from connector hopefully as well. So maybe we'll see them coming in from behind and managing to sort of take them out at this point. We'll see how this goes. Uh, they managed to get the bomb down. It's a question of whether or not Cambridge are going to save or if they're going to go for the retake. And at the moment it looks like they're just going to go for the exits. So once again, Oxford winning there, and oh, Nist manages to get an exit. Ah, and unfortunately, Harry goes down, but the M4s managed to be saved. Unfortunately, the uh, counter-terrorist uh, economy has been completely reset at this point. So it's going to have to be an eco for possibly two rounds coming in from them, which is going to put Oxford right back into this map, which is quite good to see from them. They had a little bit of early nerves from the Oxford side, a couple of team kills coming in. So it'll be interesting to see how they manage to pull this back now.
So, so just to give everyone a quick update, we're just trying to sort out the spectator issue at the moment. Unfortunately, whilst doing that, they've managed to kick the casters as well. So hopefully we'll have that back at the moment. The game is still going on at the moment. So we'll be just as surprised as you are when we come back for the score, but we'll let you know what we know when we know it. Bye. Hello everyone, we're back after that amusing interlude. It's good to be back, and oh, it looks as if the uh, we've managed to actually stall all the play as well whilst they were waiting for us to stall out. That's very generous of them. But uh, play should be resumed shortly. We've managed to get everything back, and hopefully all the issues of us being kicked and you guys managing to sneak in should have been resolved by now. Obviously, Obviously Oxford, Oxford last year, year had a uh, much, much higher, higher production value. value. <laughs> okay. As I push you. Oh, it's not So we are live again here now. Uh, here we go. We see Cambridge as we saw last round. They're on that fourth round. So fortunately, we haven't missed any of the rounds at this point. Uh, we're going to have to see a massive play come out from this and the rest of the Cambridge team to stand a chance on this one. But this should be Oxford's round. Looks like we've got a boost coming up in uh... connection. So they've noticed that they've got that M4 on the A site there, and he's managed to push them back. So it looks like the Oxford players are possibly looking to regroup and go towards B here. But no, they've stopped and party and near uh, Fountain on A. Um, oh, they managed to get the bomb. Oh, no, no. Sorry, that was uh, our mistake there. Oxford playing very intelligently, slow play, looking at all the angles, making sure they don't give away any easy frags, and it's working well in their favor. They've managed to take down both James and Jerry, and haven't given away any at all. Uh, no, no, Ben has managed to pick up an AK, so we'll see what he's able to do with this, and he's running towards the bathrooms now, so let's see what happens when Nis takes contact. Nis is going to get a good pick on Photon. Ready Unfortunately, on. he's been tagged very low there, down to 8 HP, so we'll see how he gets on. Oxford with the push into a A lot of Cambridge is still on B and milling around. Just this on the A site in any position to... I'd be surprised to see the Cambridge team go in for this retake. They have no armor, only Nis has a kit at this point. And unless we see a cheeky ninja come out from him from bank, I just can't see Oxford letting this round slip from the hands, considering how hard they how worked to get it. So let's see what happens here then. Looks like Ven's going to try and save, and Harry looking for exit kills. Well, we saw that Nis was trapped there quite a bit, back in the back of bank. He could have tried to run towards the B site, but he doesn't know where any of the Oxford players are. Ah, and we see Harry go down as well. He hadn't invested anything in this round, just the USP, which you get at the start of every round. So, fortunately, no real loss to his economy there. And fortunately, we're going to possibly see a buy from Cambridge here. Well, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, we're not really sure what to suggest. We're going to try and sort this out as fast as we can. Very sorry. 
If it wasn't so funny, we'd probably be crying too. It's a good thing that Twitch chat has got such a great sense of humor. We can see you all laughing away there. If there's anything you want to say to the casters whilst we slowly lose our hairline, please, by all means, go ahead. I'm about to have a breakdown myself. I don't know about you. Well, this is actually all the UKCS memes are coming out right now. Um, So quite an interesting round coming from here now that we're joining in. We were just seeing a 3v3. It's Jerry and James going to be a tag team here. We see the exit is quite low there. We go excellent flag from James there. Great grenade into the site and manages to take up player. So they're slowly going to push in together here and they're going to go for the frag. Let's see what, oh, excellent headshot through the smoke. Brilliant. James has managed to do this. This is possible now, but still no defuse kit. They have the smoke. They have to do this now. And I think Oxford are aware that the time is slowly ticking. Oh, and another fantastic frag from James. Let's see what they can do here. We've got James covering, and I think, oh no, 1v1. I think this is going to be Oxford Brown. The time is just not there for the Cambridge team here. Oh, Jerry clutches it. Oh, it's it? going to be close. It's going to be very close. Oh, and he does it. Fantastic round coming up here. Well, he doesn't seem to be able to pick up the... Oh, there we go. <laughs> a panicked uh, moment coming from Jerry there. We heard his voice go very high. We won't lie. Given how he, gone. he epically failed a flashbang earlier on. That was quite a good clutch from him, Jerry. Good for him. Jerry is actually a third-year lawyer from Queens, and he's the in-game leader for Cambridge. He had some interesting uh, appearances last year, but... Uh, but no, <laughs> seems uh, to be doing better this year. If we look at the Oxford team here, we're seeing an auto sniper come out from Exhale. Now, let's see if this is a, an accidental buy, which I don't think it is. Let's see how well he does for this. Here. Cambridge playing very aggressive on uh, my bathroom. So here we're seeing uh, we've got that auto sniper going round towards B. We're going to see if he's going to try and get a long take, but then we see the three players going for a connection from the Oxford team. They're pushing out towards short onto B. Uh, they've been flashed off quite effectively, and we're going to see the, the what solo B player is going to take a strong contact there. Uh, we can't quite see who is. Oh, and we see Ben taking player down. I think it's going to be a B take here at this point. Uh, but unfortunately, it looks like the Cambridge team may have misread that it's an A take. They're now frantically running over towards the B site. One of the players is taken down there. Oh, he's doing a fantastic job over them up there. Harry's doing a brilliant job. James chimes in with another frag up onto Rio. And here we see it's now a 4v2 coming in here. Exhale's low. They've been pushed back. There we go. Another frag coming in from James. And that's pretty much this round over at this point. 4v1. Oh, glasses there. Oh, bit of a whiff from both players there. A long spray coming up for glasses. James, though, has done his job at that point. Managed to get two frags, push them off the site, and they managed to defuse the bomb. Another great round coming out from the Kimmich team there. So if you look at the scoreboards here, we have Photon on the Oxford side top fragging, which should have up by quite a long way we compared to the out. rest of the team. He seems to be carrying it so far, well, as much as he can do. Much more even on the Cambridge side. James top fragging, Nis following Ben the author, and Harry bringing out the rear, which is different from Jerry from last year. One of the interesting things coming out at this point, despite Cambridge winning that round and suffering very few losses, if you look at the Cambridge economy at this point, it's actually very low. I think about 2,000 per player. So if they lost this, they'd almost be on a very weak buy the subsequent round, which could, you know, give the, the Oxford players a uh, uh, nine six, which is quite reasonable for this map, so they could yeah. still take it away. So 
So Ridley just gets the pick up Ven, but uh, is taken down immediately by Jane. Looks like going committing on A site. How the rotates come in, and, but two v three and just missed in order to attempt something sneaky. Gets one pick. We're seeing some good team play from us with that one player throw the Molotov, lure the player out whilst another's colouring the angle. So even though at one point there it was a 4v3 in Cambridge's favour, the, the Oxford players are playing very well together and really sort of forcing these 2v1 conflicts despite being two players down. Uh oh. It just runs out of ammo there. It's really unfortunate for Nis there. Nearly gets the frag, drops into 20 HP, but unfortunately it goes away of Oxford. And as we were pointing out a moment ago, the, the Cambridge economy is in the toilet for the final round. We we'll obviously see a force hit because they're not going to get to use this money in subsequent rounds once they hit round uh, 15. So let's, let's see what they managed to pull out of this. And fortunately, the Oxford players managed to get everything in there. So we'll see what they can do with this. Jerry, that, that in interesting incendiary onto fountain stairs there. Yep, spam capper and chat. Now 2v3 here, uh, we do have an AWP on Ven, and this does have a UMP, but we're against 3 AKs and 4 grenades, so... And they're all out of position at the moment. Having played with the Cambridge team, Ven is a fantastic orbit, so I wouldn't rule Cambridge out this round just yet. Even in a 1v3, I could see Ven doing something truly magical here, so let's see what he can do. But I can't see Oxford letting the grips go on this round. They really want this, and you know, closing out the first half, 9-6, would work really well in their favour. So let's see how this goes. That grenade gives away his position, they know he's going to be coming from either short or monster now. And so Rio's in a perfect high ground position there, and they're just waiting for him. They're just going to torture him, unfortunately, at this point. They're not going to hold any angles to give him any free kills. You know, lure him in, and there they go. They close the trap. 9-6, the end to the first half there. So let's see how they do for the second half, where as uh, Cambridge swaps the T side. So clearly we're not having much luck with the uh, production value of this today, but fortunately we have uh, a dedicated team working very hard to try and get this fixing. Uh, it's one person, and I swear the man has lost maybe an inch of hairline since this game has started. Fortunately he's running around, and we should have this sorted again soon. Uh, as you can tell, this is the first time we're casting, so we're used, not quite used to all the commands here, but hopefully we'll have this working by the time we get around to the second map. Uh, We'll see how we're getting on at the moment, momentarily. Unfortunately, we just seem to have missed the pistol round of the second half, but it seems to be a Cambridge uh, 
it, it looks like an upset here. It looks like Oxford managed to win the pistols, just as it happened. So one v one on pistols, but it looks like Cambridge has won the anti UK the following round. No, no, I've got that completely wrong. Clearly, I'm not a mathematician and cannot count to 17. So it looks as if instead that the uh, the Cambridge team has managed to win that round, stealing away, and once again, they're in control of this. You would expect them to win the next two rounds, which would take them to 12-6, so we'll see how that goes. Looks like a premature rotate on the Oxford side. A scout on Ridley there. That's, that's unfortunate for Rio there. He had two heads lined up and unfortunately just didn't seem to get like. But he managed to land a shot on Ben there, which is quite good. He's quite far back and let's see how this affects the, Oxford, uh, the Cambridge team. They're down a player at this point, but they're all stacking up ready to go on the B site. Got three players ready to go there. Unfortunately, they've managed to lure three players onto the A site. They do have one of their players, unfortunately, over on long, so we'll see if he can do anything when the Oxford team rotates, but let's see how well this site take goes for him. How are you? We have to spray down the rest of that. But Photon quickly trading back onto James on the B site, lowering... Oh, once again, exhale and glasses, and that's just dropping it to Harry on the own. They know where he is. He's going to have to pull up a miracle play here to you know, even stand a chance of pulling this back. I mean, this just shows just how close this game's going to be. Both teams constantly trading rounds back and forth. Even when you see uh, Cambridge in a strong position, good weapons, and Oxford just on an anti-eco buy, we still see the Cambridge team manage to lose the rounds. Let's see what happens here. So it looks like Photon's uh, doing very well there at the moment on the Oxford side. He's Plumman and he's from St. John's, and he's currently doing a defill in physics. But clearly the physics of this game is working in his favour. He seems to be landing every shot he lines up. 19 kills, 17 rounds in. That's a fantastic kill death ratio. Even his ADR is doing fantastic. So let's see how if he can keep that going on the uh, the CT side. Looks like I have a push on long A uh, with a NIST just lurking around in construction. But it seems set. Oxford are a bit slow on the rotate. There. So we'll be seeing three players here trying to hold off the four from Cambridge. Oh, uh, now they're rotating the fourth player off B, and we're seeing Cambridge heading towards the connector area. They may be able to quickly take the B side, but no, a player is rotated back. They've done very well reading the situation there. There was a moment there where, you know, Cambridge could have rotated the B side, taken it, but fortunately they've recognized the fact they need to hold both sides. So let's see how this plays out here. Looks like Cambridge have fallen back and are potentially baiting the rotates with inactivity. Oh, oh, I don't think we should talk about inactivity anymore on this server. I don't think we deserve to be kicked <laughs> again for this. There we go. Frag coming in from this and Jerry. Nice little bit of tag team work there. Pushing on the players, holding Laurie. Oh, fantastic work. Even, Even though the they're all low on health, they're going to get the bomb plan out of this at the very least. And if they can just manage to take 2v1 combat here, they can take this round. They'll expect both players to be from behind, but they'll also be watching for the rotate through connectors. So let's see how this goes. Niss goes down, it's dropped down into a 2v2. Unfortunately, both Cambridge players are low on health. They're playing from sort of bathrooms and mock. Let's see how this works. Great frag coming in from Harry there. That's a line trying to chase him into the toilet. But They're right. doing a great job just running yeah, down the block there. Kit, but great he's, work. He hasn't got time, so he's just gonna take the kill and just. Considering that Cambridge almost well lost the previous round when they had strong weapons, it's good to see them manage to sort of dig deep there and take the frags. Especially considering they were 4 3 down to Oxford early on in that round. What'd you make of that, James? Or Dobby? Oh. I'm just expecting another kick right now. So Dobby unfortunately has just tempted fate by saying we're expecting another kick momentarily. Hopefully that's not going to happen. 
So looking at this now, we see Oxford, they're on a force here. They managed to keep the weapon on Restallion, so he managed to survive that last round. We see a strong buy coming here from the Cambridge team. Uh, an opening frag from this onto Reed, uh, so we'll see how this goes now. Uh, they have Ridley. left the bomb behind. I've just been corrected, apparently it's Ridley and my eyesight is going. Fortunately, I am one of the older students here at 28 and a medic, so clearly my vision isn't what it needs to be. The slow play coming here from the Cambridge side, they don't want to rush in, they're expecting these pistols, which is what they've encountered so far. Harry gets another frag, this is, I can just see slow methodical play coming from the Cambridge, they yeah, don't want to make a mistake there. They've side, with all grenades, and uh, it, but they've all gone around, and the bomb's all the way in sewers, so going through Monster, there's no one on B site at all for the Oxford. It's a masterclass coming from Cambridge here, yeah, great job using those smokes to oh, lure in the players. And just cleaning up. He's not going to see XL though, hit hiding behind truck. So no, great job coming from XL there. Just lurks behind, lets Ven step out, nice into the open, and just takes his head. Nice clean shot, and he'll save that Galil going to the round. Fortunately, it's not one of those weapons many people use. Everyone prefers the AK-47, or to have the UMP for its high money uh, per kill uh, sort of generation there. So we'll see how he manages to do with that. And we'll see if he manages to save him. So XL in his spare time is Sam from University College and he's a second year physicist. And he's also apparently the captain for the Oxford team. Well, but they apparently don't have an in-game leader so they're just all calling out whatever they, they like and it may be paying off that the lesson coordination for the Oxford side is a... Uh, well, we have seen some good plays coming from the Oxford when you know they've rotated those players. They haven't over-rotated except in the previous round. But even then, they were managing to get the kills. So let's see if that works out for them in the long haul. But at the moment, here we see we see the Cambridge team once again sending four players out towards playgrounds and fountain and holding one player just to prevent those sneaky plays from the Oxford. But to be honest, they're playing very reserved. They're playing passive angles. They're holding the site on A quite far back and just jumping, trying to bait out and get information without giving away too much. Meanwhile, at the same time, they've got two players holding Angus on B, which are very close and may catch the Cambridge players out if they're not careful. So Oxford here rotating another player over to have an Overwatch position on to B. They've run and recollected the bomb uh, Cambridge have, so it looks like they're going to be going to take the B site here in a moment. Uh, but fortunately, it looks like Oxford haven't quite read this. They haven't got an awful lot of information, so we'll wait and see how well they respond when the smokes fly in, and let's see how this goes. They're looking like they're about to execute, so good luck. Exhale's jumped down, bypass the smoke, fantastic work so far, 2v2 trades. Oh, and another great frag coming out from Exhale there, dropping to 3v2. James is down, leaving just to Harry here. Three kills from Exhale though, and maybe a four. Oh, oh fantastic so round up. coming out from Exhale. You wouldn't expect a UMP to do that much damage, but great work. Man just to get an AK himself. He seems to uh, catch a lot of like, three Cambridge players when they weren't even looking or prepping grenades, so it's pretty good timing on his part. Now he did a fantastic job holding the angle. They didn't expect anyone to jump down quite so forcefully, so he was in the overwatch position. Obviously, one of the smokes comes in, he's jumped down into the water, and he's assisted the two players on site, which isn't what the Cambridge team were expecting. They were expecting one, maybe two players on site. So, XL's done a fantastic job getting in an advantageous position and just managing to take the four Cambridge players out there. So, we have a full buy from Cambridge. Their economy has been somewhat hampered by losing that last round after winning two. So, so the first pick here on this map was for Cambridge. So it is surprising to see it so close, 12-8. We'll be interested to see how well Cambridge do on an Oxford pick. Obviously, it's going to be one of the maps they've trained for over the last sort of eight to twelve months. So let's let's see how well they do on that. 
But for now, it's looking like uh, it's going to be quite close on this round as well. A buy coming out from Cambridge again. Very little utility there. Just sort of the three smoke, four smokes even, and a grenade. So they've managed to get the pick on Ven there, which is a very, very good frag for them. Uh, it looks like they've got two players going sort of down bathrooms, one down long. It looks like Ness is just going to make himself a nuisance on B, try and draw out rotate before the players collapse down on A. Let's see how this goes for them. Oh, Exhale's reading it very well though. He's rotating back over. Nice frag coming out from Ness there on glasses, but Exhale once again comes in, getting a double frag on both Harry and James, dropping a 4v2 into Oxford's favor. Oh, T flag, uh, sorry, team flag, team flash coming out there, sort of di distracting exhale there. But fortunately, that's the round going in favour. Twelve nine to uh, Cambridge at this point, but we'll expect the next round to go in favour of Oxford again. The economy for Cambridge once again, nice and well, poorly low, barely twenty two hundred per player. They're gonna be on an ego here, I should think, unless they want to make a nice, strong, fast play. So let's see what they do here. Harry M, unfortunately, running through this, the, the Molotov and uh, oh, in Century, and um, just dies. Jerry just running out in the open, down by Monster, and also dying. I think Cambridge just want this round done and dusted. They've got very, very little done. investment in just a few P250s and a flashbang. That initial smoke onto monsters really slowed down the Cambridge aggression. Unfortunately, Harry and Jerry have pushed in alone and just did easy frags for the Oxford team there. So they're going to make a sneaky rotate potentially. Oh, no, no. They might be trying something else here. Sneaky boost, hoping for a nice cheeky frag. Let's see if this works. Fortunately not, they haven't seen a player there. They've opened squeaky doors, so it sounds like the players are just going to collapse down, go for a 2-2 split and have one player possibly go around, lurk, and try and find out where the Cambridge players are going. But let's see how they do here. Restaline playing quite aggressively into toilets. He's going to get the information that they're in toilets and two frags along with it. We've, We've seen Restline playing very well there, get two frags, guaranteeing the round there. Unfortunately, Niss isn't able to get any more kills there. Nice strong performance coming out from Oxford here, absolutely turning the game around and making 12-10 very, very close. Normally on uh, Overpass, you expect to be quite a T-sided map, so you expect to go 9-6 in that favour. We didn't really see that in the, the, what's coming out so far this half. We're seeing Oxford absolutely claw rounds back, and we'll see if they can manage to do that. But we've got a buy coming out here. James has got an AK armor, and we've got a couple of flashes there, so let's see if they've got a, a clever play coming out here. Harry M goes straight down, straight away to Ridley, right down by Fountain. The bomb's all the way at long A. Nis lurking, once again in construction. So Cambridge are playing very passive here, hoping for some aggression from the Oxford team to punish them, take the weapons. We're just, just not seeing that from the Oxford team. They're being very oh. disciplined in their play. Oh, They're holding right very right long now. angles. Restline being the one player though that has gone down, and he is probably the most aggressive player on there, and it has worked very well for him. We saw 19 frags in the previous round, which you know obviously is very very good coming from him. Oh, sorry, my mistake again. Clearly, my maths is not doing me any favors today. So once again, another round coming out. Cambridge will now have the maximum loss bonus, so we should be seeing a good buy coming out from them. James the only one on 3200, so he's going to be forced into a UMP and some utility, which is unfortunate for him. But let's see what the Cambridge team can do. They've really got to get some momentum going here, because at the minute, the Oxford team are absolutely shutting them down. And this being a Cambridge pick, it doesn't bode well for them. No, it doesn't indeed. Got Ridley pushing out long A. Eh? But there's nothing on Cambridge side to try and oppose him. Jerry p might blunder into it if he decides to push them. 
that's traditionally an angle Ven would hold, uh, the long angle. So clearly, having played with Ven a few times, Jerry should be aware that it is an angle he's got to be worried about. So hopefully he's not just going to sort of wander out into that and give them a nice easy opening frag. But he's playing it very slow. You can see here they've absolutely cleared out bathrooms. They're now going into long together as a team. And we're just going to wait and see what they manage to do here. Ox are playing very defensively, just hugging the bomb sides, not giving any inch. Well, for we're going to need some real anything. strong, explosive plays coming out from the Cambridge team here. Because these defensive positions are very, very strong. It's going to be very hard for Cambridge to take them. We're going to need to see some effective trading coming in and some good use of utility, which we haven't really seen from their T side so far. So far, there's been no aggression whatsoever on this round from the Oxford side. So they're just not giving the picks, not giving the room. And Cambridge is just forced to do something with 35 seconds left. Unfortunately, we're just not day. seeing those opening frags for the Cambridge team that normally allow them to have that moment of aggression. Normally, you'd see someone like Ben holding an off angle, getting an off frag, but it's just not really happening. And here we see them going into A, but the angle of the Oxford team are just so strong, they're just getting two opening picks, dropping it into a 5v3 in their favour, 5v2 now, and that's pretty much the round closed out. We need to see something more coming from the Cambridge team here. So the minute the Oxford team is playing very, very well. A very strong explosive, one by one. Cool move into a site but they're, they're taking these fights in 2v1 situations uh, Oxford, hunt, as the defenders I'm, I'm surprised to see Cambridge not doing it better and oh they don't even manage to save the orb great job from XL they're really leading the team well for Oxford pushing in getting that last frag and just once again resetting the Cambridge team down to nothing and this we can see only $900 so he's died he's died after time so literally his economy is going to be terrible for two or three rounds now yeah, Niss here is a second year PhD in chemistry from Keys. And uh, I know that he <laughs> plays with very pyrophoric materials in his day job, so uh, in his spare time he seems to like shooting people. Oh, seeing some banter from Glasses here directed yeah, yeah. towards the captain of Cambridge team then. Well, Jerry and Glasses are pretty much, I think, they are equivalent in their roles in their team at this current time. So, we'll just see how well, they're how doing on the score. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like either of them have reached 10 rounds. They're 24, sorry, 10 kills each, 24 rounds in. So, poor showing coming from the, the Cambridge captain there, but fortunately, we've got a best of three here. Hopefully, he'll be able to pull, his, uh, pull himself back together, get a few more frags there. But we're seeing a strong performance from this, 22 and 13, and... It, the scoreboard doesn't quite reflect just how sort of strong the performances are being from individual players. But despite seeing sort of Restallion sort of having a good few kills there, he's not as far up the scoreboard as you'd imagine considering some of the impact he's had in some rounds. So it'll be interesting to see who comes out on top by the end. And it would be nice to see uh, Glasses or Jerry get a kill on each other and finally get their 10th frag, but we'll wait and see. Looks like an aggressive push on long A, but they've got the angles covered. Oxford gets the pick on Jerry. Ridley's down, got, got spot dinked by James uh, with the P250. And, uh... well, Ridley did a great job there actually defending Rustallion there because he was caught out with, uh, I think it was a smoke in hand. That could have been a nice easy frag for James there, but fortunately he's managed to step in, get that initial frag and made it much easier. Only Ven alive now? Ven is a first year Natsuki from Jesus. Goes by Matt in his real life. And he's the designated author for Cambridge side. We haven't seen him get the author an awful lot really for the, the last two halves. Because of the back and forth play, we've not seen him in a strong orping position for a long period of time. So we'll see how well he's doing with the rifles and what have you, because clearly he's not getting that sort of $4,750 just to buy the op. So he's not even been able to do the glass cannon or any other strats with the op. Unfortunately, he's been continually forced to play a different role to what he's used to. Oxford taking the lead now in this matchup. 13-12. And there's a full buy on both teams. Ben with the 800 B.
two Cambridge players chilling in construction, hoping to bait out grenades, or maybe a rotate. The rest of them are playing very defensively, just chilling around Fountain. Well, we are seeing Rustalian once again doing a slight more passive role on A, but moving, trying to get that information from Backroom without overextending himself. But no information has been given there. Uh, we're seeing another one of these cheeky boosts come out from the Cambridge team, just trying to get information. But once again, the, the angles that the Oxford team are holding so deep, well covered, it's very hard for the Cambridge team to get any information. So once again, just playing the sights, playing defensively, just waiting for Cambridge to push and push not very well, it seems. Oh, Jerry with the pick on long A, if got picked on long way. Ben, with the ben. oh, oh this fantastic, change. takes the orb down. So this could be a good opportunity to take A quickly. And we see someone running back to the bomb now. So we're going to see how well they do. They've got to play fast and leaving the bomb James all the way the back there. Oh. On James getting another frag there. That drops it in a 4v3. We could finally see the momentum we need from Cambridge. Rotate coming in from Oxford onto A site. But it looks like Cambridge are planning to execute. They've just done it too slowly, unfortunately. Oh, but they managed James to get another behind. frag. It just seems that the frags are going their way. But Oh no, two good frags come close on an exhale there. Oh, Harry trades it back, 2v1, oh, 1v1, ah, and Photon manages to clutch it out. What was looking like a Cambridge round, an opportunity to come back into it, it's just yes. been absolutely stamped down and just denied. Looks like Cambridge choked there, just failed to check corners, failed to cover each other, and they, uh, well, they didn't. But also did a great job there. They used two smokes and created a gap in between, which just funneled the Cambridge players. Instead of slowing things down, playing the clock, and then going in together and using their numbers of antics and taking them once again in 2v1 combat, and just they keep losing out. They need to slow things down when they are trying to take the site, but unfortunately, they're just taking too long to get in the site, running out of time, and having to play too quickly, and it's just not working for them. watch Harry M for a bit. He's a first year PhD after having done a master's last year at Wolfson College. The Wolfson of Cambridge, not of Oxford. They're spelled differently. He's going to set up a smoke. It's like that smoke's going for... So it looks nice like step. they're throwing their smokes onto A. Uh, it looks like the Oxford team have rotated uh, Exhale, who's been playing fantastically up. He's now going to move into an advantageous position on A, but Cambridge doing a great job luring them in. Yep, They've got, got that opening frag on B. It's now 4v1. They've got to really collapse in and deny him from getting this trade. And once again, Photon doing a great job, taking yep. out three players and just single-handedly winning the round for them. Great work coming out from him. And now it's pretty much down to just Fen here with the Khalil. Let's see what he can do. Oh, he's got the AWP and and heaven on B, so let's see what happens. They know where he is. They're just going to hold the angles. So Rustalian's given him, he has a nice easy angle on him. And oh, he misses the op shot. And there we go. That's 15-12. Unless we see a massive play come out from Cambridge in the final three rounds, this is going to go the way of Oxford. We are playing overti uh, overtime. We are playing uh, extra rounds here, so there has to be a decisive victory on each uh, map. So there's not going to be any draws coming out here, so it's still possible for Cambridge to win this map, but they really need to do something with this round here, and I can see Oxford just playing the same way they have been. Nice, strong, defensive, quite far back, giving a lot of map control, but then just luring Cambridge into the death. So let's see how it's going. But no, an aggressive play coming out from Oxford there. Yeah, oh, the flash stopping, denying Jerry. Nis goes down to Ridley, and they should really be getting... Oh, there we go. Down to a 3v3, Harry low on health, which puts it in favour of Oxford, but now they just need to either play explosively and take one of these fights, or slow things down and just confuse the Oxford players. Let's see what they do here. Doesn't look like good for Cambridge so far, because they've got one flashbang and only two and a half guns. The Oxford team just using their utility so well. Every time a player goes in, they just end up full flash. Ven there with an opportunity to take out Exhale, but immediately gets blinded by his teammate, uh, by um, one of the other Oxford players on the, the A site. So now we see Boat on here, another opportunity, and once again shuts down Cambridge. Fantastic kill coming through onto Jerry there. 
And now we need to see the Harry or Ven get that trade. Oh no, unfortunately we see Ven go down as well. So it's Harry. There we go. And that's the first round going in favour of Oxford. Nice strong showing from them. Very, very well done. Photon with 33 kills. Doing very well. Carrying the team. Oh, and a Jerry Spectrum and case the getting bottom. Yeah, a Spectrum case for Jerry. So a consolation prize at least. But Ridley in this, unlucky.